Right now, all new at 5, 10 on your side is digging into concerns over a recent decision that impacts where homeowners have to put a fence around new swimming pools. A board which reviews state building codes recently interpreted an existing law. Well, some in the pool industry worry those regulations are too costly when it comes to space and money. 10 on your side's Aaron Kelly joins us now to explain these rules and some of the alternatives. Yes, yeah, state law says there needs to be a three foot clear space around a fence that encloses a pool. And according to the recent interpretation by the board, that three foot space has to start at the property line and come in. And some are worried that change could be costly. Ed Coiner is putting a pool in the ground for a customer in Chesapeake. But he says a recent interpretation of a state law means the homeowner could have an added expense. For example, this lady has to go around a complete yard and put another fence up four to six feet, three feet off the property line. Or move this existing fence. Or move this existing fence. Earlier this year, the Department of Housing and Community Development alerted all Virginia Building Code officials of a change. The department says a technical review board was asked to give a legal interpretation of a law and decided the law requires a three foot clear zone between the property line and the fence around pools. Coiner says some customers haven't budgeted for that. I have one lady right now is in limbo. She may decide not to do her pool, which is $30,000. That's a $30,000 job that I'm not going to make profit off of and she's not going to get her pool. Coiner learned of the change and reached out to Chesapeake City Councilman Robert Ike. I think it's uh, some, uh, a decision that was made with uh, unintended consequences. Ike has reached out to members of the General Assembly. I think this ought to be uh, held in abeyance or, or not enforced until we get a, a ruling either from the Attorney General or the matters brought before the state legislature. Now, according to the Department of Housing and Community Development, if the homeowner can't move the existing fence three feet in from the property line, they can put a second fence directly around the pool, get an automatic pool cover, or get a legal change to the deed that says the neighbor's fence is in that clear zone. Now, the department says a working group will be discussing all of this next week. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.